elementals on your head. Making sure you don't fall. So, uh, the compa here will film it a little bit. But let me, no más dime, limpiamos porque tenemos. Customer service right there. Amazing. Alright, so this is my section here because you don't have this, so uh, you don't eat this, so I'll eat all Thanks. this. I have the chicken. Yo, so literally before I can even take my coat off, we have food on the table. Who does that? <laughs> Taste it yet? Yeah. Good stuff, man. Huh? Good stuff. Oh, that's and a red pepper aioli, and that's a jalapeno cilantro aioli. Are they both spicy? No, they're not. Neither one? No, they're not. They're good, Don't though. Don't lie to me. No, they got mayo, which is like oh. almost like a food. Like, no, Take a dip. It takes away the spiciness. We're here at Blend at Long Island City, and this is one of my best, uh, my favorite places ever. And I've been coming here for like the last 10 years since this, this place opened. This is my first time here. Yeah, this is her first time. So it's not my first time. Everything that I'm trying is generally trying here for the first time. So we're here with Anthony. Um, Blend Restaurant. Long Island City, been here for 10 years. Latin Fusion, Dominican, uh, Puerto Rican, Colombian, Mexican, everything on one menu. You think of it, we got it. Yeah, we got Mexican. We got tacos. Yeah, we got tacos. Yeah. We got different Latin countries on one menu, so yeah, we got it all. Give us a little bit of history about the restaurant. How did it all uh, Me and some high school friends. Uh, one of them is uh, my brother Lex, TJ Camillo, um, my boy Roland, a couple other guys, Sammy. Um, most of us went to Bryan High School. And we were friends since high school and we decided to make a restaurant. And we found ourselves in Long Island City right before the boom and here we are now. That's dope. Um, and DJ Camillo is pretty well known out here, so. More or less, give or take. Yeah, some people know him. Would you say that's been like a marketing plus for the restaurant? It has, I'm not gonna lie, it has been a marketing plus. But uh, as we all know, there's been a lot of restaurants by famous people. I'm not gonna say any names. <laughs> I mean, one of them was not the Hard Rock Cafe, kind of Hollywood. Places like this have big names to promote yeah. them. And some of those go under as well, so it takes a lot of hard work and dedication oh, to make sure. this happen. Yeah. Yeah. Million percent. Yeah. Uh, so being that it's like a fusion of all types of different uh, Spanish food, what is like the number one thing here? I think the best thing here as far as appetizers, people love these little empanadas. We have five different flavors and they're all different colors. Right here we have chicken. Right Not here. to cut you off, but that's the reason why I'm biased to this spot rather than blend on the water. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're, they're empanadas. empanadas. They're Colombian corn flour. Um, that one's chicken. That one's four cheese. And uh, for entrees, the boy la plancha, people love that. And skirt steak. Really good. Yeah. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Yeah. But that's why I, I, I'm biased on this spot as opposed to the one on the water, which is really nice also, because they don't have these empanadas on that menu. All right, so I'm going to have to try one of these. Go for it. I'm going to try... That's a really different empanada than anyone I've tried. Colombian corn flour. It's really good. So Anthony, for our viewers that are possibly looking into getting into the restaurant business, what would you say, let's just start off with what's been the biggest challenge for, for a restaurant, as a restaurant? What's been the biggest challenge well, for you guys? as everybody already knows, the restaurant business is a really tough business. It's almost like being in an airplane plane cockpit where you have like a hundred little knobs and it's like everything has to be touched and tweaked. Right. So it's like every day making little adjustments to make sure that you're on top of your game. Little adjustments every day. How do you approach or how do you handle competition? Because obviously when there's restaurants, there's always competition. I'll tell you one thing uh, as far as competition. The best way to approach it is by not approaching it. Um, <laughs> once, you start that, feeling, <laughs> once you start feeling that people are your competition, you start focusing more on other things than on yourself. Just focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like this. If I tell you that me and you should go across the street and race, one of us is going to win and one of us is going to lose. Am I right or am I wrong? Right. But if we don't race, would one of us win? Or, like, I'm not going to put myself in a position to lose. Therefore, I'm not going to put myself in a position to race you. I'm not going to race anybody. I'm not going to compete against anybody. I'm not trying to be the winner. I'm, I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to post that quote and I'm going to put your name after it. Because I like that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a really good one. That's a good concept that applies to anything yeah. in life. Yeah, yeah. 
really good. Basically, you just stay in your lane. But I understand now you guys have three locations? Yes. Alright, so what would you say are like the top three keys that have allowed you to expand to those three locations? Well, wow. basically, what are the three keys to success? Would you say? That, or have well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you three, uh, two things I learned in restaurant school because I went to a restaurant crash course. One thing I learned is always sell chicken. That's number one. Two, Interesting. Don't put know. anything blue in the restaurant. The blue color is like an anti-hospitality color. And number three, yeah, look, there's nothing blue in here. I mean, maybe a little on the here and there. But we try to keep everything warm. And number three, I would say, man, you know, you just gotta have passion for it. And uh, that's what we have. We have passion for this. Passion. Yeah. So, your other three locations, they're, um, they're the same concept or? Are they the same concept, but they have different food. So, on like other chains where they keep the same food, we kind of like change everyone up a little bit. And they're different decor, decor as well. And I actually picked that bone with Flex when last time I was in Miami, because when I met him, I was like, why do you guys have the empanadas here, but they don't have them at Blend on the Water? I, I literally went to Blend on the Water one time, and when they told us they didn't have empanadas, I got up and left. Like, true story. So I, I had to pick that bone with Lex when I met him. And his explanation was that he wants to make sure he differentiates the menus in all the restaurants so that they, they can keep the customers from only going to one spot. They can go to one spot for something special and then go to the other spots for whatever makes that spot special, you know? All right, so you guys have pizza shops too? Basically. Really? Yes. Here? Uh, two blocks away. Yeah, and we have another one in Astoria, Slice LXC, Slice Astoria. A little bird told me you guys were going to have some pizza delivered <laughs> within the next hour to this uh, restaurant. Maybe. <laughs> That'll be interesting. <laughs> Camarones al ajillo. That's, that's one. I don't eat shellfish, but I'll let Diana enjoy these. And now let's try this mofongo appetizer. Mm. Oh, for those who don't know, mofongo is squash plantains, green plantains, with garlic and a bunch of other stuff in it. Really good. So this is why I need to marry a Dominican. For this kind of food. All right, so this is camarones al ajillo, which is basically just uh, shrimp and garlic. And since Mr. Ariel over here doesn't eat shellfish. I'm gonna sacrifice. You stump it all. I'm gonna sacrifice I and sacrifice. try it all by myself. The sauce is bomb. I love skirt steak. That's a really good looking chicken. I know. What is I mean, I can sit here and act like this is the first time I'm having this dish and how amazing it is. But this is what I have every time I come. And it's A1. Like, A1. The best grilled chicken ever. Officially been defeated by a plate of food. Yeah, for I the think first it's time. Uh, blend one, Diana zero. I never not finish my food. And I'm what is this? I got some pizza straight from Slice and I see. Oh, this is your other spot. Yeah, this is the other spot. We just ate. You I know, but you know, this is dessert. Yeah. So, we're just gonna do it anyway, right, guys? All right, I mean, we're here. I'm we're still all for the challenge. We're all for the challenge. Straight out of Slice and I see. Fresh this New is authentic pizza. New York authentic, pizza right, right here. All right. Did you guys take a bite? I can't minutes. say no. Can you say no to pizza? I don't know, I'm gonna say no to pizza. Pizza is big. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts, bro. <laughs> I don't think I've ever eaten like this. No, I have eaten. Let me, let me stop. Let me stop. But I haven't eaten this much in a long time. I couldn't even finish this slice, and now we're about to chop down three desserts. Three. Anthony's trying to like not let us leave out of here alive. That's Wait, I want to snapshot this. The benefit. Reserve stomach with it. Can you give me a piggyback right here? No, uh -uh. you're on your own on this one. Anyway, it's been real, Anthony. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, next time, thank you for the food. It was amazing. 
You okay? You got it? Sure. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. You good? Come back anytime. You already know, guys. Thank you. You good? All right. Until next time. You already know. Blend Astoria, blend on the water, slice the light cheese, slice Astoria. Come by anytime, right guys? Thank you so much. Take care. Once again, take care. Right?